That was a reenactment of me entering my room. Not the real thing. But here I am at CES 2020. What's CES, you might ask? CES is a giant conference showing off the next best thing in technology. Yeah, there's a bunch of refrigerators, TVs, cameras, but there's also vehicle technology. So for the next two days, I'm gonna walk the floor and get as much automotive coverage as possible. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna go check out those AK TVs because those look sick. CES 2020 came and went, but left us with a few notable surprises. This year, I was joined by Zach Palmer, an associate editor for Autoblog. After his morning interviews, we finally met up for a bite to eat. We've got a delicious meal right here. Chicken, fries, ketchup. It doesn't get any better. This is Las Vegas. <laughs> okay, we're at CES. I'm next to Palmer right now. That's me. How are you doing today, man? Uh, you know, it's it's been a lot. I've seen a lot, uh, but I'm I'm still like still psyched to be here. Yeah, me uh, too. There's so many a cool, lot of cool things. things. So, yeah, I know. Having a great time. How about you? Really great time. I'm a little tired right now from walking around, but I'm getting a lot of steps in, so I'm okay with that. Uh, my favorite thing so far at this show might be Chefbot. I don't know. No. Chefbot, really? <laughs> no, I think my favorite thing. I, Automobile wise, might be the Sony car, just because it the came Sony, out of nowhere. Yeah, the, the, the Sony car is cool. I still but think the Mercedes car is pretty cool too. That's what I was so. gonna say. Like, it's, if a, I, it's a toss up on if that. If I had to pick one, that would be it right now. Yeah. I still want to go back and look at it some more. Yeah. Uh, it was totally swamped. That's how that's how popular it is at the show. It's super. Busy. Everybody wants to see it. Yep. If it, for good reason. It's it's an incredible piece of art. I'm deeply honored that the mastermind behind the Avatar song, James Cameron will join me with his team here on stage tonight. And we've already done some work together, and I would like to present the first result of this partnership. The Mercedes AVTR concept was one of the more popular concepts shown at CES. On the second day, we tried for a second look, but ended up coming across the line with a wait of 30 minutes or more. Luckily, I was at the press conference two days prior. winner, James Cameron, to the stage. My main thing in life right now is sustainability. I mean, true sustainability. How are we going to do this? What's our future going to look like? And so I think tonight is all about the future. So. Yeah, that back end with the um, the scales. The, yeah, the scales. The moving scales. Right, right. It, what do they call them? The bionic Something bionic about it. flaps. Bionic flaps. That's it. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, bionic. it's a pretty cool idea. Pretty cool idea. I wish that it could like happen on the road. Yeah, you know, to, to yeah. ride around in something like that. A yeah. car that breathes. That's, I know. That's one that, of the that center. The little freaky. Uh, I don't know. Squishy thing. Right. The, <laughs> I don't know how the center, else to describe it. Almost feels like it's breathing, and it does. It moves up and down, which is pretty cool. And it lights up. Everything yeah. on the car lights up. Yep. I'm pretty sure. That, I, I don't know how many lights are in there, but it's. In, it's gotta be in the thousands of individual LEDs for sure. Another crowd favorite in a very unexpected concept car was the Vision S, made by Sony. Yep, the company who makes PlayStation. What you see behind me is Sony's Vision S concept car. This is never intended to be a production car or be manufactured as an automobile in the future. Sony just basically made this so they can get their technology into a vehicle and understand what other automakers are dealing with in regards to camera sensors, LiDARs, and other safety features that are being put into vehicles now and into the future. At the end of the day, Zach mentioned BMW was offering rides in a BMW i3, but it was modified and called the Urban Suite. So we just downloaded the BMW Experience app. That we did. For the i3 Urban Suite. i3 Urban Suite is essentially a BMW i3 that has been transformed into a personal luxury chauffeur vehicle. So they've taken 
three of the seats out. It's just uh, a, a, a driver's seat and a one rear passenger lounge seat. Right, right. Uh, like all of the interior has, has been swapped out for super luxurious. Uh, it is anything that's supposed to look futuristic and uh, oh. provide more ambiance and luxury to the ride. And we're going to ride in that uh, away from the show today. Right. In the app, it looks like you have about five different settings here. There's one, you can change the temperature. Another, you can roll the window up or down. Another, you can change the fan speed. And then you can turn a light on and off via the app. So through the air. While you're in there. Through the app, you control mostly everything. All of your ride preferences. All right, that's you. About to go hop in my BMW i3 Urban Suite. Have fun, man. Oh, that's mine right there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Our pair. All right. Our chariots. <laughs> Our chariots have arrived. Uh, Alex? Yes, it's me. How's it going? Brand. Good, how you doing? I'll uh, chase my up, it's cool. Let's do that. How are you? Doing good. Good, I have your cappuccino in the heated cup holder. Oh, thank you. I'm good. Uh, you'll see three buttons, the golden triangle right there. Two of them move this footrest forward and backward. So All right. Comfortable. And that triangle triangle folds down your TV display. Okay. So from the app, you should have gotten a little invite code, whatever. You have Amazon Alexa, sorry, Amazon Fire remote that controls everything right here. Really? Yep. Okay. Uh, you can also, an iPhone, okay, you can plug in your lightning cable and you actually have speakers built into your headrest. So you can play music, whatever you want. Um, nice. You can really listen to anything you want. Yeah. Um, and so you're, it's called your little sound suite. So I won't really be able to hear anything that you're playing uh, unless it's like blasting loud. What else? Oh, do you, you have a little lamp down there. So push that little uh, oval looking thing. Yeah. There you go. And there there's, it there's is. There's different dimnesses. So you push it again, it gets a little dimmer. Really? Oh, a little, little ambiance going on. Yeah. Okay. And then one more we should turn it all the way off. So if we were to adjust the headlight. Oh, yeah, let's turn it on. Um, where are we going tonight? So tonight we're going to the Manly Bay. Perfect. Manly Bay, where it is. Okay, and we're here. Just getting dropped off at the Manly Bay. Well, hey, Enjoy. appreciate it. Thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy your stay, and maybe I'll see you again. Yeah, sounds good. All right, that was it. The ride in the BMW i3 Urban Suite. The next day, we attended a private Nissan event that wasn't even on the show floor. Out at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Nissan had a demonstration showcasing their E-Force driving technology. It's a twin motor prototype on a modified Leaf. Okay, it is a bit windy out here in the Nevada desert, but we're not really in the desert because we're at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's right. Driving something from Nissan. What is it, Palmer? It's uh, a prototype bubble drive system. It's called an E-Force. It's in the Leaf that you can see right behind us, actually. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're driving that, or we're, we're testing out, uh, you know, what Nissan is going to be bringing to their future EVs. Now, we just went for a test ride in the back seat of the E-Force. Um, what they have us doing is going through this track on different courses, a slalom, J-turns, and uh, an acceleration course. And they turn the control system on and off. The most notable difference is in the slalom and the J-turn the when they turn the them on and off. Yeah. We were sitting in the back seat. You get tossed around a lot when the system's off, but when it's on, I mean, I felt safe, yeah, which so is weird. It, when you have the system off, you're yeah, on yeah. your steering like crazy. When the system is on, you can you can obviously tell, you know, the motors are working to yeah. keep keep your line, and you know, and that's under full throttle acceleration on a wet wet pad as well. Let's open the door up just to show the inside. Where's the steering wheel? Oh, oh the steering wheel is on the opposite side. Now we can't drive the thing. No, we can still drive it. Yeah, because this is a prototype from Japan, actually. 
the big screen in there is also uh, yep. not your typical leaf screen. It's a big 12 inch screen monitor. The all wheel drive system, uh, you can see where it's applying torque, uh, what direction the torque is being applied to with, with each wheel. Um, it's a pretty neat setup. It's especially fun to watch when you're sitting in the back seat and somebody is uh, giving it all it has around a corner and you can yeah. see, see what the system is, is doing to keep everything in line. System on. Full throttle. Around this J turn. Holding pretty well. Yeah, it does. It's so much better. That holds so good. Yeah. It's amazing the, the, the difference when you, you turn it off and then turn it back on. Yep. After getting tossed around in the back seat while Zach had all the fun driving, we arrived back at the convention center and part our ways at the monorail. With my memory cards full, I'm ready to start this edit. 2020 is already off to a great start. The CES is easily my favorite trade show of the year.